Okay, last question I'm going to yep. ask you. This has been awesome, by the way. Uh, last question. Give me two books that you would maybe uh, refer our watchers uh, to read. Um, one in the field, maybe one out of the field. Okay. Um, I think in the field, there's so many different ways to go. You know what I mean? It's, you can look mm -hmm. at programming books, things like practical programming. You, know, you can look at super training, mm -hmm. if you dare to open up the pages <laughs> right. of that and begin that process. <laughs> um, you can look at triphasic, uh, you know, look at all those kind of basic foundational books. And obviously some of those get more and more advanced as you go. Um, but I think it's just, you know, one pick, I think an aspect of your development that you're lacking and like I said, just keep talking to people because they're always going to give you different books for different subject matters. Yeah. And, you know, the one thing about strength and conditioning coaches, it's like you have to be good at a lot of different things from the coaching side. You know, you, know, you can look at, you know, different biographies of famous coaches like Nick Saban's books. Great. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the Tony Dungy books are great. great. Um, and just how they interact, how they approach, you know, the, the team aspect of actually coaching um, and some of the micromanagement there. Um, and so you know, I think it's just a matter of you figuring out, you know, what aspect of my development and my continuing education really needs to improve and then resource, you know, the, the top people in the field, you know, figure out, you know, have they written books or what, what do they recommend? But it's like, you know, you look at some of these other podcasts and like they always ask those questions and it's, it's always great because, you know, I'm sitting there writing down mm -hmm. books that I haven't read or buying, you know, books, you know, just to make sure that my library is growing. Um, so that's huge. You know, outside of it, um, and there's somebody like I said, if you're getting outside of exactly like the strength of the ocean inside, if you want to go into something more closely related to like PT, um, the Sally Charman, um, mm -hmm. you look at um, anything written by Gary Gray on um, his mentorship program, um, his fellowship. Um, and so you know, it's so hard to answer that question because there's so many different aspects to what we do. Um, you look at soft tissue, you know, like Kelly Starlet, it's such an easy read and it's so practical about just basic things that we can do day to day um, with, you know, the, the supple leopard book. And so all of those things are easily, I think, read and you can easily take a ton of information out of them.